Hello everyone, Spirited Senior here, and I've got a few more tidbits of news for you, and let's get right to it, shall we? Democrat establishment extinct incoming. <laughs> Only 27% of Americans claim to be Democrats. Oh, oh. oh this is too good, now come on. According to Gallup, on November 9th to 14th, 2016, 30% of Americans considered themselves Democrat. Today, August 24th, 2019, only 27% of Americans consider themselves Democrat. Do you blame them? You guys are nuts over there. Okay? You really have to wonder when it comes to elections with these stats, is where in the hell is the Democrat establishment getting all their support from when only 27% of Americans identify as Democrats? There is actually an easy answer to this when only 27% of Americans identify as Democrats. It's called voter fraud. No kidding. Vote in Mexico fundraising. Becoming the DNC and Democratic establishment would only have to change a, at getting money from 27% of Americans. This number of Americans identifying as Democrats in the new Gallup poll may just be the reason why Democrats have now put illegal aliens before American citizens. Well, we knew that. If there's somebody who doesn't know that, where have you been? Under a rock? As only 27% of Americans still gobble up the trash from the left. Very well written, I would say. Well, here we go. A.G. Barr reveals changes to U.S. immigration courts. I wonder what this has to say. Oh, Washington Times reports. Okay. The Justice Department proposes changes to the immigration court system Friday that would give more power to the agency's political, uh, political leaders. Under the new rules, the director of the Executive Office of Immigration Review would have the power to personally decide the longest running cases. The interim rule would also limit the power of EOIR's general counsel to influence immigration judges' decision. A departure, a, a, sorry, a department official said in previewing the new policy for reporters. Wow. EOIR is the agency that hears deportation cases from illegal immigrants nabbed in the interior of the U.S. It also rules on requests for asylum, which have surged in recent years as migrants have abused the process with bogus claims that, while usually rejected in the end, still allow them to be released into the U.S. while their cases are pending giving them a chance to disappear in the shadows. We certainly don't want that. We know when it comes to immigration in America, ICE has been busy with major raids dating back to May, and that President Trump has very likely wrote up an EO to get rid of catch and release to make sure illegal aliens don't miss their immigration court hearings. <laughs> Good thing. We now likely have a con connection to President Trump's order that is coming at any moment to end catch and release, which became an obvious immigration problem with illegal aliens under the Obama administration. Oh yeah, you just let them walk all the way in. What the hell? <laughs> where illegal aliens were caught and released before federal immigration hearings were there were tens of thousands of cases. Now they're all running around loose and, you know, in the country. What the heck, right? 
A.G. Barr is likely pointing us in the direction of the end of Obama's catch and release program. As A.G. Barr has revealed the likely chances <coughs> coming to the EOIR, which is the immigration court those illegally in our country have to face <coughs> Excuse me. After they are taken in by immigration authorities, well, yeah. The EOIR is also where illegal aliens with bogus asylum claims get their asylum or don't get their asylum. Hopefully, the change to the EOIR, which AG Barr has revealed, will mean illegal aliens with immigration cases will soon be out of the country and bogus asylum claims in the tens of thousands are denied. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me much. Okay, here. 20 prison officers at Epstein's prison subpoenaed by feds. Lawyers pointed to evidence Epstein murdered. Well, yeah if you believe that. The Gateway Pun reports the feds subpoenaed at least 20 officers at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan where Jeffrey Epstein was found hanging from his prison cell of a suicide. Not the corrections officers received the grand jury subpoenas as part of the DOJ's investigation into the breakdown of prison policy at the MCC that led to the death of this, the, this high-profile prisoner. <coughs> the Sun UK reports a lawyer for Jeffrey Epstein's victim say he has obtained new information that suggests the billionaire Pato did not commit suicide but was murdered. Spencer Gouven who, apparent, who accurately predicted that shame financier would not last until his trial, and he did, told Sun Outline he had been contracted by an anonymous prisoner worker who claimed it was highly unlikely the perv killed himself. No, because he's narcissistic. Narcissistic people don't kill themselves, okay? The prison source told Coven every square inch of the cells where Epstein was kept was covered by CCTV, so there should have been a comprehensive video account of exactly what happened to Epstein. He also said, I received a call from a supervisor at MCC, which is the jail that Epstein was in, the first words out of his mouth, to be honest, were don't believe what you are hearing in regards to the Epstein's death. No kidding. The so-called suicide of Jeffrey Epstein is now officially not looking like a suicide and is looking more like an assassination kill. Now we have two very interesting developments with the so-called suicide of Jeffrey as a lawyer from some of the victims of Epstein is revealing evidence pointing to Epstein's death as a murder. Yep. Not only do we have this form from an attorney for the victims of Epstein's trafficking network, but now 20 prison guards at MCC where Epstein supposedly took his own life are now being subpoenaed by the federal authorities. Well, let's find out what happened, shall we? What should make the suicide of Epstein immediately questionable is Jeffrey would have given up information in court on everything he knows about his trafficking network and everything he knew about every individual involved beside him. But now that Epstein has been suicided, well, now he can't, can he? No, we certainly can't. But there are some of us who believe that he's been put in the witness protection program and taken out of jail because it was too dangerous for him there. 
and I'm hanging on to that. Okay? Nobody else has to, but I am. Let's move on. Democrats lose again. Yay! Federal court rules in favor of electoral college. What did they think would happen? Really? It's part of the Constitution. Hello? The Post Times. The U.S. Appeals Court ruling in Denver Tuesday slowed efforts by progressives to eliminate the Electoral College and replace it with a simple voter popular vote. <coughs> yeah? Well, I don't think all your illegals are going to be voting this time because I'm pretty sure they're keeping an eye on you guys. Pretty sure. They kept an eye on you in 2018 found out what you were up to. The court said Electoral College members can vote for the presidential candidate of their choice and aren't bound by the popular vote in their states. The 10th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals held that the former Colorado Secretary of State violated the Constitution in 2016 when he removed an elector and canceled his vote because the elector refused to cast his ballot for Democrat Hillary Clinton, who received the popular vote in that state. Wrong. She did not. Take away the illegal aliens. She wasn't anywhere near the popular vote. Don't even go there. The ruling applies only to Colorado and five other states in the North Circuit. Kansas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Utah, and Wyoming. The Democrats' anti-American agenda is now losing on multiple fronts, as a federal appeals court in Denver has ruled in favor of the Electoral College over the popular vote for members of the Electoral College. That's why they're there. The Democrat establishment and the media for months now have put forth an effort, including Democratic Senate state governors, to get rid of the Electoral College after President Trump won in 2016. They're just sore losers, you know? Sore losers. The American Electoral College, if you notice, was never a problem like it is today when Clinton and Obama won four elections combined. But all of a sudden, the Electoral College has been a sudden problem for Democrats. Their media and Democrat governors only because Trump is president. Mockingbird media? Yes. Chalk this up as a loss for the Democrat establishment at, at federal court has ruled in favor of the Electoral College over the popular vote for six U.S. states. To begin with, to begin with, to begin with. Anyways, I'm going to end it with that. And uh, when I get some more news, I'll be back.